Welcome to the online video series of Python. So in this video, we'll be discussing how to construct decision making in Python. So in this video, basically we are going to discuss on if then else statement or else uh, we are going to discuss how to make a decision in Python language. So basically the main syntax we are going to use will be if then the keyword if else then we will be seeing what is nested if okay so before going through these three syntaxes we will see what is mean by a decision so if we take this example so uh, in decision making we will be having A set of condition we are going to have a condition so in the condition we are going to check whether the condition is true or false we are going to check whether the condition is true or false so if the condition is true we will be executing one sort of set of code line if the condition is false then we can uh, execute some sort of code set of land so basically why we are using this if then else or else uh, we are using this if condition to make sure that you are going to perform a decision you are going to take a decision and you are going to check whether the condition is correct or the condition is true or false if the condition is true then you are going to execute some set of code segment if not you are going to execute some set of code segment so um, basically we can known as decision making is an anticipation of conditions occurring while execution of a program and is specifying action taken according to the conditions okay so that is the normal meaning of the decision making so uh, what we are using in python uh, there are three basic steps one is we are going to use if statements then we are having if else statement where we are going to check the condition is true then we are asking our code segment to perform some set of tasks if the condition fails then we will be asking our set of code to do some another set of task okay uh, so we will first see uh, how to implement uh, if statement so we will check how to implement uh, if statement so i'm going to open my uh, normal file so how to uh, do a condition checking or the if statement is like this is the normal syntax so if followed by expression then we are using this double quotes what we call as double dot then we are adding the code segment then we are going to add the code segments so this is the normal format how we are going to use if condition okay um, so in the expression part we are going to add some expression or we are going to check the condition checking then in this statement or the code segment part we are going to put that if this statement or if this uh, expression is kind of false then we are going out of the loop if this statement is true then we are asking to perform this set of tasks so then i will uh, take one example so we can do like this so in this case i am having example like my variable is initialized to 100 so then I'm going to check whether if variable then I'm asking to print got a true expression value if print then print variable one so if we run this program you can see we got the output like the print one got a true expression value and the print variable why the in this case variable one is 100 so our expression is in this case it is taken as 
true so if we add here zero we will check what will be the output so in this case we are not going to get the expression y if variable mean in this case variable is zero that mean it indicates our statement is false so that mean our expression is false then we are going out of this condition and we don't have anything else part so then we fails to print this part because this is inside the loop of the if the condition true only this part will print okay so uh, uh, we'll uh, have one more example uh, we'll take like one variable equal one then we can put like if where if we are equal to one we can ask to print the user has given we are as one okay so we have a condition where we are is equal to one we have initialized after that so variable then here we are going to check a condition so then you can see the user has given variable less y because this condition equals to one here so that means the expression is true so uh, if i change it here like this zero so in this case now the variable is zero if i run it you can see there is no output y in this case this expression is false why variable equal equal one mean so variable should be one actually the variable is here indicate to zero so this expression is now variable equal equal one expression is actually false statement so we are going out of this statement and we don't have print anything so if we uh, print here something like this you came out of the condition okay uh, now just uh, see the command and just uh, tell me what will you get if my variable is one so what is the output you should get so the as the output you should get both these statements see you are going to get this both these statement why first variable one is correct then you are uh, coming inside of this condition then you will be printing this one then you are going out of the loop then on the outside of the loop you are having this statement you came out of the condition so if i change this one to zero then what should i get i should get only this line because this line won't be executed because this condition is false we'll run it and see yeah see you can see you came out of the condition that mean you are going to get this output only so this is how we are going to create if statement only so if you are having only a single condition and if you don't need to perform any tasks if the condition is false then you can use if condition only so then there is one more thing uh, if else so why we are using if else is if we have some expression if the expression is correct then you can so if the expression is correct then you can ask perform this set of statements else you can ask perform this set of statement okay uh, so in this case i am going to have example like this uh, so the my question is like if if the grade is greater than 50 i'm saying that if my grade is greater than 50 I'll ask my user to print pass else print fail so this is my condition so this is going to check whether if the grade is greater than 50 then print pass if 
else print fail so i'm going to initialize the variable grade if i am going to give the grade as 80 so what is the output i should get i should get the output as print equal pass so the print will be pass so i'll run the program so you can see here i got the result as pass so if i put it like 30 i should get the output like fail so here I am having a condition so this is going to be the condition so this is the condition line and this is where if the condition is true if the condition is true then you are going to perform this part if condition fails condition fail condition is false so then you are going to perform this set of tasks so this is how you are going to use if then else if then else which we are calling in the normal syntax so here we are using the keyword if and else so if we are going to check the expression if this is passed then we are going to do our set of tasks else then we have to use these dots double dot then we are going to print or we are going to do our set of tasks okay so this is the thing you should know how to this is the way you should know uh, how to implement the if else statement then we are having a one more statement called nested if so in the nested if basically what we are doing is in the nested if we will be having a set of expression inside if so we take the syntax so we are going to check whether the, if the first expression is correct if not we are going to have again one more if like that we are going to check whether the nested one after another you are going to have a expression so there is a one method you can use l if l if mean else if so in the else part we are going to check whether there is a one more expression to be checked so in such way else plus if so in such way else plus if you can write as l if so if the first condition is fails then you are going to check with another expression then you are going to use l if then the condition okay so this is the normal syntax you should no so we'll see an example um, so i'm having example like this this is my uh, set of code so i'm having a variable called var var which is initialized to 100 so in the first case i'm going to check whether my variable is less than 200 so if the variable is less than 200 it will print this expression then we are going to check whether if the variable is equal to 50 then it is it will be print which is 150 if it is 100 it will print which is 100 else if we are going to have one more condition going to check this one else if we are going to have another condition followed by the true statement then in this hierarchy you can see if the variable is less than 200 you can see this indexing then we will be asked to print could not find true expression so if we run the program you can see expression is expression value is less than 200 why it, the variable here the variable is 100 so variable 100 is less than 200 so you are going to get this print then we are in this indexing if variable is 150 so this is not the thing it is will come out of this condition and will go here if l if then we are going to check whether variable is 100 so in this case this is correct it will go inside then it will print which is 100 then it will check this one it is false here it is again false then it will come out of the loop so uh, with this condition this is coming out of this loop also because this is an else of the same indexing we came inside of this uh, set of the statement then we'll be going out of this full scope and it will be printing good 
by so if we give a value of like 250 you can see it will print could not find true expression and it will print good by also so this is how this nested if condition is going to work how i we are using nested if if we have multiple statements to be checked or multiple conditions to be checked then we can use nested div uh, to solve our issues so this is the basic concept or basic things you should know when you are going to make any decisions so you should know how to create if how to create if else then how to create nested if so hope you understood the basic outline of how to write condition checking or decision making using python so if you have any issues you can just drop us a comment in the comment section so we will be helping you to solve your issues so stay tuned with the my youtube channel 